Okay, so finally on to the class you will be doing. Today's class, we will be doing sentence reordering today and this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, okay. Alright, so shall I begin the class? Everybody is set, everybody is ready for the class? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we will start the class by... First of all, I would like to ask you some questions because very simple questions. These questions will help me understand your understanding of a sentence. What a sentence is? What do you call a sentence at first? Tell me. What is a sentence? A meaningful sentence. Can anybody tell me quickly what is a sentence? And what does a sentence comprise of? Oh, Shweta forgot. Yes, Kabir, absolutely right. A group of words that it is a thought and not just a thought but a complete thought, a meaningful thought. For instance, I, when you put some group of words together, they can also convey some meaning but not complete meaning. So those words, group of words that convey some meaning are phrases or clauses while some groups group of words that give you a complete sense are called the sentences. So, did you understand the difference between a sentence and a phrase? You go, I go, ETS. Absolutely, Shweta. These are also sentences? Yes. Okay. So, let's start and tell me what are the two parts of a sentence? Can you tell me what the two parts? It's there on the screen as well. Yeah. Subject and predicate. And what is the importance of a subject sentence? Can you tell me that? What is the role of subject and what is the role of a predicate in a sentence? Who performs the action? Ria. The subject is the performer. The subject performs the action and predicate reflects what is being acted, what is being done, right? So, you have to identify a sentence only by two parts. When a sentence has a subject and then it has a predicate, it is a complete sentence. Yes? Alright. So, until now you understood, what are the two components? And any time you see a sentence, you just have to find the subject and the predicate to distinguish between the two parts of a sentence. Fine. Now, can you see the image over there? What does the image show? What is the image about? It is a classroom. Absolutely. And what is happening in the classroom? There is a teacher. Yes. And there are so many students there. The teacher is teaching. Okay. Now, there is a sentence there. Yes. Can you see the sentence? You have to identify the underlying word, the underlying part of the sentence. What part is that? Is that a subject or the predicate? Tell me quickly, very simple, very easy question for your grade. Absolutely, Raman, it is. It is the predicate. Yes, your guess is absolutely right, Raman. It is the predicate part and predicate of the sentence and why? Yes, Raman, absolutely. Go ahead, ask the question. Objects are part of the predicate. Objects are not always, objects are the part of the predicate. Predicate can also have object as well as the verb. We'll go on to that. We'll be discussing the part and sequence of a sentence, how a sentence is formed. And absolutely, yes, object is just a part of the predicate. It's not entirely the predicate because a predicate exists object and verb also. Okay? That's clear? Thank you so much, Shweta. I, I'll, I hope I uh, understand this chapter very clearly. Okay, fine. Okay, let's move on and see some arrangement of sentences. How a sentence is arranged? Because in order to arrange a sentence, you have to understand its parts and how a sentence is arranged. So, if it is rearranged and put forward to you, you are able to recognize its, its parts and then arrange them in proper order. That is what you will have to do while 
reordering the sentences okay don't forget the classes on sentence reordering because that is what you'll have to do and master by the end of this class okay all right so can you see the the, the the sentence construction for the first sentence that is sentence for a simple sentence the rearrangement of sentence the arrangement of it is in the following manner the manner is subject there will be a subject that is the performer of the sentence the verb and the object right so can you arrange the sentence in proper order anybody any intelligent mm hmm absolutely fine yes yes shweta and try to arrange this sentence in in its proper sequence raman riya shweta who all are there try everybody you'll have to give me a sentence children are having a birthday party hmm okay everybody everybody and uh, agree to that but they are having a children party oh raman okay so does that make us make any sense to you raman can birthday have a party can birthday have so this is where the error comes okay this is where you make tend to make mistakes when you you see two subjects in a sentence there you'll have to understand that it is always the children the children only be the performer of the action but they can never perform an action right so here children is the subject of the sentence and children is performing the action where children are having a birthday party right okay so you are answered it right so this this is the sentence is the positive sentences let's move on and have a look at the negative sentence structure how a negative sentence is formed okay it's very well it's just formed by adding a not over there okay a negation okay so can you make a sentence out of this jumble words can anybody do do that try 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 the glass the subject absolutely kabir not full the says raman is that this is so simple not the glasses does that make any sense to you the glass is not full yes priya yes raman it's what do you say shweta the glass is not full yes you are telling raman right okay so raman needs a little more practice is not full as the predicate yeah that's that's true kabi that's correct it's okay raman you learn it if you practice hard you learn it i'm pretty sure yeah don't be sad 